Sarrell, lovely ball threaded through from Sarrell. Carrying through on goal, Carrying! What a start that is! Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of SPL Social with me, Ash Ashen from Footballita and today we are filming from our Tampines Hub, our wonderful partners and I'm joined once again by two players in the Singapore Premier League. We are, you know, we get a lot of requests throughout the season. These are the two players as well that I always hear from, I would say, on social media. So once again, thank you very much to Zulkarnan from Lions City Sailors for joining me as well as Zarfan Rohaizad who has been having a fantastic season with Tanjung Padra. Thank you guys for joining. Thank you very much. Yeah, it's a pleasure and of course, you know, if you guys are around the area and you want to check out some cool coffee, you guys can come to the Dutch Colony because we, I'm sure you guys have been enjoying the coffee, right? Yeah, of course. It's pretty good. <laughs> I love my coffee. Yeah. And we'll talk a little bit about, uh, you know, all the dietary stuff as well in a bit. But, you know, for now, let's go to, you know, our guest, the last goal scorer contest. It's a big game between your team, Lion City Sailors and Tampines Rovers this weekend. So leave your comments below and let us know who you think is going to get on the score sheet. <laughs> we'll know in a bit. Who will? But okay, let's talk about you guys. How has your season been so far? You know, you came back as well. You re recently rejoined LCS, right? So how, how have you been enjoying the, the season? I mean, it's, it's great to be back. Obviously, uh, you know, a lot, of, a lot has changed for the past two years. The last match I played was against Tempanese, where we lost 4-1. So yeah, it's been great. You know, there's a lot of changes in the team and the facilities are coming up. So I'm happy to be part of LCS. Yeah, excited. And you also started the last game against Geylang. So, how was that game for you? I mean, uh, I've been out for almost four months. So, for me to be back playing football, uh, it's one of the best things ever. Yeah. yeah, I think a lot of Singaporeans remember, you know, how well you played for our national team as well in the Suzuki Cup. And hopefully this year, it's called the AFF Mitsubishi Cup, by the way. Yeah. So, <laughs> we are looking forward to seeing both of you, you know, in action for our national team. And Zarfan? Fantastic stuff from you. 75 shots saved so far. You're the highest and the best goalkeeper according to the stats. How are you feeling about, about that? Uh, um, I feel, I mean, it's, it's, it's a good feeling to have this kind of stats to actually be the highest for now. And I'm just, you know, taking it game by game and hopefully I'll, I'll get more saves and get the highest at the end of the season then. Oh, I scored against you, huh? Eh? <laughs> <laughs> It's okay, you know that's the thing that I, uh, when, when, when I asked Zarfan to pick someone to come on the show with, he immediately told me, you know, that he wanted our uh, Zulkarnian over here. Is there a reason why you guys go back a long way? Or? I mean, we started off, uh, I mean, I watched him having his debut uh, in YL. And yeah, from then on, I kind of like clicked with him. Because I feel like our sense of humour, it kind of like, it's on the same frequency, so it's, it's kind of a no-brainer for me to be good friends with him. Lah. So the vibes, lah. you guys have this vibe. We call it the vibes. Then. <laughs> we call it the Manila 6. <laughs> <laughs> the what, sorry? Manila 6. Oh! <laughs> okay, I don't want to really know what, what, what is that. <laughs> but, okay, let's go to, um, you know, Zarfan, back to you. What are your personal goals with Tanjung Paga this season? I mean, I have to say, Tanjung Paga started out you know, really fan very well, like top of the table, and now you guys have dropped to the third position. But it was not easy, right, you know? This season has been pretty challenging for you guys, you would say? So for us, it's, it's honestly been a roller coaster ride for us. Because to start off with that kind of um, result, having that result in the first round, it's, it's, it's a, a target which we thought that it was uh, quite um, far from reach. So from, to where we are now, being third, um, it's, it's honestly um, a good thing for us. Lah, because. We didn't expect us to be here, but now we've proven ourselves that we are up for the challenge. And yeah, we're basically fighting for the spot to getting the AFC spot. Ah, oh, fantastic. And you know, for you, Zul, um, okay, I want to ask you as well, what are your personal goals with Lions the Sailors this season? And, and I guess what's been the best part? You know, you mentioned facilities, but personally for you, like based on what Zar Zarfan said as well. I mean, for me, we have the best players, best um, backroom staff and everything. So for me, I think I want to play as much game as I can with LCS and of course obviously give some assists and score some goals. For the, I mean the, the aim for us is to win the league. In fact, we need to defend the league which is the hardest thing to do. Uh, yeah. And 
and that's that that points gap now, Zarfi. You know, with you guys and and Lion City Sailors, you guys think that you have a chance to catch up still? Mm, of course, it's anything's possible in football. So, like, who knows? We I might say that we are also running for the title, hopefully. I don't know, season, huh? Let's see how so, it goes. Yeah, so <laughs> it, 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 honestly, it's not a possible target. Uh, um, so we just try to take it game by game and see where we'll end up at the end of the season then. Yeah. Yeah, you really never know in football, right? The ball is round, as yeah. they say. Yep. Right? yep, it is. Like, it really is. Okay, guys, now let's go, let's go to a bit of the fan questions. I just want to say thank you so much to the fans for sending in your questions for our two players over here. I hope that you guys are ready. I can see smiles from Zarfan here. <laughs> Okay, maybe we'll, we'll start with a little bit safe, okay? So, thank you so much, Confederal, for sending this question. You said he wants to know, Zarfan, would you say your style is towards traditional goalkeeping or modern goalkeeping? Um, I shall say that I'm more into uh, a modern goalkeeping style, style of play because um, it's different from how is it back then, probably 10 years ago and now, because keepers are now more... Um, they have to be good on their feet and they have to be basically good in everything like how a player is so so that's how I'm leaning towards uh, my style of play uh, basically. Is that like a favourite goalkeeper that you know you grew up watching? And you... Grew up watching maybe it's maybe out of my time but I love to watch Peter Michael play oh, yes. but now I mean it, he still is but being a modern goalkeeper now I try to look up to players like Edison and yeah, Manuel Neuer. Yeah. yeah, he danced when, you know, I think Man uh, Manchester United scored a penalty uh, against him. <laughs> or oh, missed the penalty, that dance. <laughs> I'm sure you saw that. And Zul, for yourself, um, you know, from Sia per Peruzai, he or she wants to know, do you have any lucky socks that you wear on game days? Oh, so basically, he's the main sponsor for me. Like, I've been sponsored by Ruza Diamonds, originally from Australia, so yeah. I mean that socks, it's a quality socks for me and yeah, every time I wear the socks, I play well. <laughs> you think he sponsors you? No, no, no. Good now, socks, you should Darfur try. Now, wants the link up. Yeah. <laughs> okay, now I think I got a, um, a couple of funny questions, I think, um, Zarfi, for you. I hope you're ready, okay? So, um, I don't know whether you want to answer this, but Lalu Nai Naiko, I think her name, she wants to know what do you look for in your future spouse? I think it's a girl. <laughs> He can't answer, he's already like, you know, he's no, already no. with that. I got a ring. Yeah, yeah he's got a ring. Um, what if I look for in a future spouse? Maybe someone who is self-driven, uh, knows what she wants, um, also having a sense of empathy. Yep. And probably, I mean, yeah, yeah, she has to have like, she knows how to take care of someone and it's, I mean, if like, like I say, if we have the same frequency as each other and the same attributes here and there, I mean, yeah, so... You know, you are quite similar to Lionel because we, we asked Lionel the same question and he said uh, something Don't associate me with Lionel. <laughs> Lionel is a different guy, not me. <laughs> that one is a nice guy. Yeah. Oh, oh that one is very nice. <laughs> uh, so, okay, we won't, we won't, we won't ask uh, more. Okay, now I want to ask back about your pre-game like, routine, right? So, um, so kind of what's like, your, your SPL tradition that we always ask, favourite food? So, what do you usually have before a game on a match day to prepare? So normally for LCS, we check in a day before the game. So we have our team dinner together and yeah, we probably have a good rest. So I think we always usually eat pasta, more like steamed food. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, what's your favourite personal My, dish? Oh, I eat anything, you know? Oh, so <laughs> for me, I eat anything. You will eat all sorts of yeah. things. The food he eats every single day, I see it. Can, can we give an example? <laughs> Normally the hotel food oh, right? cheat day lah, yeah. Oh cheat day. Cheat day I normally eat like uh, chicken rice, uh, uh. ayam geprek. Huh? Ayam geprek is nice guys. Okay, Jollibee sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> all in one set, yeah. all in one setting. But now I try to keep it down uh, more to diet. Yeah, I'm sure lah. Zarfi, what about you? Like what do you have on, on a match day or? Uh, match day we I mean they check in a hotel, I will be at home. I will ask them, yeah, we will have the home home vibes uh, and so I'll usually ask my mom uh, to cook uh, a bolognese yeah. so that will be a food, uh, my go-to food every week which I'll, I get bored of it yeah. already but it's something that I've, I've, I'm stuck with so I can't get out of it. Well. So it's pasta for you right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. okay, if you guys weren't professional footballers right, what route would you take you know, in your career? Maybe I'll start with you. Honestly, I will go for bowling. 
Yeah, I love playing bowling. Bowling? bowling. You know, I beat wow. you a lot of times. <laughs> hey. You want to go after this, we can go after this. Yeah. <laughs> There's a bowling alley. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I never knew, you, like, you know you're into, as in, like, you, you always played or? Yeah, normally I always play. My family, my friends, yeah, sometimes with him. He's annoyed now. Is there a reason why? He thinks he's that good, but it's... Yeah. Yeah, but, but you know I beat him. <laughs> he's no. So, so yeah. you'll be a national bowler, you think? Huh? Yeah, probably. I mean, I, I mean, I always watch bowling videos at Facebook. And I like wow. Jason Bermonti, you know? Okay, no, yeah. I, 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 Jason Bermonti is number one. Yeah. So... <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. I just feel like bowling is the next profession for me, lah. Even no, if I, I mean, even if I retire, I still can play as a profession. Who knows? You know, with LCS direction, they might actually build a bowling alley in the training ground just for you. <laughs> so, Rafi, what about yourself? You want a professional footballer? What do you think you'll be? Maybe a singer? Because we always uh, see you no, no, singing no, no, on, no. on Instagram. Oh no, 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 no. <laughs> I think I'm leaning towards more of being like because what I studied in poly was engineering. Okay. So I might might become like an engineer or something, but wow. my childhood dream was to become a pilot. Yeah. I think that's every boy or yeah, yeah. Like, <laughs> childhood dream I think. Yeah, so yeah, I guess it might be an engineer or maybe a yeah, engineer I guess. Okay, interesting. I have yeah, interesting like I would say a, a <laughs> choice of professions for you guys. Okay, just want to ask you guys as well. Um, you know, how has the fan support been for for you you both? I mean, Tanjung Baga, you guys have the what do you call it, Jaguar Force, and yeah, they're yeah, always yeah. there at every game. Like, yeah, you know, yeah. do you appreciate like what? Um, since last year, I came like half of the season of last year and till today, it's been growing, which I which is very like refreshing to see. And in terms of the fan club and all that, we are uh, we might not be. We might not have the most of supporters here and there, but the passion I see in every single one of them when they come to our games, it's it's felt, you know. So the presence, it's, they, we know they are there behind us. So it's been very, like I said, refreshing to see them there. And for yourself, I want to ask, I forgot to ask, from not really you, right? Um, okay, maybe for both of you, who are your best friends in the, in the team? Who's your good friend at, at LCS? For me, my best friend is Haikal Pasha. Ah, yeah. he was on the show. Hi. Yeah. Haikal Pasha. <laughs> no, we we are neighbors. We stay opposite no, block. Really? Yeah. So we always go training together, go home together. Yeah. yeah it's a good guy. It's a good guy. So I, we, I was I've been with him since I was job. Wow. Yeah, until today. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. He, he was on the show and he kind of also I think mentioned you and a few others as well as so yeah. good friends. So. What about you, Zarabi? Who are your uh, good friends? I know you have a lot, but you can name a few. <laughs> in my club, um, I must say there's two of them. One is Akari, which is always on the show. Yeah, and another one is my kid man, media man. He's, uh, he's everything. Uh, the he's, one who gave us the photos, is it? Yeah, uh, it's Azwan. Uh, he's our, he's Shout out, Azwan! Yeah. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, Akari is my, probably I can say he's my abang, which is brother. Yep. So he will be there, maybe he will be like, because he also stays near me. Okay. So yeah, we'll be hanging out after training and half. I just had lunch with Azwan just now. Ah. So it's, it's good to have this kind of uh, people around me. Yeah, I think yeah. the support is important, right? For you guys, how has the support been, you know, it's based on what he mentioned, like from your family towards, you know, your career as, as a footballer for, for yourself? I mean, my parents was my biggest supporter, you know, they took care of me. They always buy me expensive books. Wow! I mean, the support from my family is always there. You know, even though the last game we drew, the one that I conceded penalty, you know, yes, the yes, WhatsApp yes. group, my brother yes. was like scolding me, why you give the penalty? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's great to have your family support. That's yeah, I think the number it's one important, priority. right? And yourself as well? Yeah, like you said, it's, um, family support is, to me, is the most important thing that, that I have to have to, basically. Because without them, I will not be here where I am today. So especially, um, I must say, um, they will be there no matter rain or shine, they will be there even if you lose so badly, you win, and they will just be there for you and give you moral support. So that's the only thing that, for me, is that keeps me going every single like day of my life. Yeah. Yeah, like you said, family is very important, not just in football, but in our life as well, right? Let's talk a bit about the future. Um, Lukana, you, you recently, you're recovering right now from your injury, right? So how is the, you know, re how is usually the recovery like, I would say, for, for an athlete, you know, like, from injury? 
for us as a footballer, we don't really like this recovery period, you know. It's quite tiring, but if you have the mindset and determination to get back, I mean, yeah, for sure, you will come back stronger. Yeah. Hey, that's the way. <laughs> okay, sorry, we got a question from son of Semar. I don't know whether they're from Indonesia, but they want to know if Arima FC comes calling, would you go? Of course, I mean, my personal short-term goals, I mean, let's say, okay, just goals, is to play overseas, lah, honestly, because, like I said, SPL is good, but I want to challenge myself to becoming like a better footballer and see what uh, other Southeast Asian countries has to offer. So, yeah, that's one of my personal targets that I would love to achieve. Lah, soon. Okay, Zul, we've got a fan question, but I think you know who this person is. She wants to know, how do you feel having a baby boy, Uncle Mamad? I think she's your niece, right? My niece. So basically, I had a gender reveal last Saturday. So wow. yeah, uh, uh, my wife is expecting this year November. Getting a boy is a blessing. I mean, maybe it's a Zul Junior in the making, you know? <laughs> Little mama running around. Yeah. <laughs> but for me, when he goes up, let him choose what he want to be. You know, I cannot force him what he love to do or what. Yeah. But hopefully he will join football. Oh, <laughs> and then you have the LCS Academy that I'm yeah. sure they will, they will love to have him in, right? Of course. <laughs> Fantastic, so congrats on that as well. Thank Congratulations you. to you and your wife. Yeah. Okay, so Zarfi, another one from Fatula, your teammate. This one I have to ask because it's quite funny. He says, does he attract many people? He seems to be quite good looking. Uh, the, the, banter, the banter between you two. Uh... Um, how, no, I mean, I don't attract a lot of people, but it, I, it, this is this is the kind of things that we have in our changing room, honestly. Locker like, room we, talk. Yeah, locker room talk. It's just the banter between No, but I do, did notice that he posted like, a photo of you on his Instagram. Didn't he? There's a photo oh, of the, what, Because what he that? just left his phone open, so it's just like, okay, whatever, I'm just going to take his photo. Right? <laughs> he just left it there. So if you guys want to go to Fatula's Instagram, you will see like... Like um, a photo of If you want to know his passcode, it's just 000. <laughs> so it's that easy. You can just go in. <laughs> oh, that's a good one. Okay, guys. Um, let's, go, let's go to you. Back to you, Zul. Um, do you have any... Okay, a bit, a bit about your brother. So, Javier, you, thank you so much for your question. He said, why is your brother, Zul Fami, not playing football anymore? He's so good. I mean, yeah. My brother stopped playing last year. So, now he's working full-time, you know. Uh, I guess he's growing up. Want to get married, Aww. save money. Yeah. But whatever it is, we are all proud of him. Like, he chose to leave football to do something something else, which is a good, I mean, hard decision for him. But he's still playing in the SFL? Yes. Yeah. Yes. He's playing for league, yeah. Starlight United. Oh, yes, I've heard of them, yeah. So if you want to check him out, you can go and watch their game. He's right? playing with one of my twin brothers, actually. Oh, really? Yeah, they're in the same team. Wow. So, but I, I think. He still have the heart for football. Of course. He got something else to do. Like, it never leaves you, does yeah. it? Like you cannot like leave football. I can imagine. Okay, um, Zarfi, back to you now. Now we're gonna go to Netflix recommendations, guys, which we started asking recently. So, what shows are you watching now on Netflix, and can you recommend to our viewers? Um, I'm currently watching um, Umbrella Academy. Yeah, it's it's not the. I mean. Honestly, I don't watch much of Netflix, but I would just scroll through to see whatever's good, and I only watch it during my meal times. Okay. And after so that, I'll just close it and not watch it right after. Really? That. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But I liked. Uh, I recently watched a movie called Incantation. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. The horror movie. <laughs> the horror Taiwan. movie. Taiwanese horror movie. It, yeah, I was watching alone, and it, it kind of got scary, but I just kicked throughout the whole thing. So. I basically didn't watch the entire movie. La. <laughs> yeah, I, the chanting is a bit too much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What about yourself too? Uh, currently, I'm watching a series called Top Boy. Oh, yeah, yeah. it's good. Top yeah. Boy, the lingo is very but good. Now I'm only at third episode. So, is yeah. it season one or? Season one. Okay. I just started watching yesterday, I think. Was one, huh? But mostly. Was one, bro. <laughs> So no. you watched it too? Yeah, I finished the whole thing okay. Love, yeah? Yeah? Love, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you guys need to check the show out, Top Boy. It's not exactly PG-13, but it's a very nice yeah. underground culture. Yeah, mostly my wife that choose the series or movie. Yeah. Oh, but usually, yeah? Uh? We've been watching a lot of Hindustan movies, actually. Yeah. It's the best, but it's very long. Like, yeah, it's long. <laughs> but it's okay, like, it keeps us. Have you guys watched Mat Kilau yet? Oh, no. I watched it yesterday. It's pretty, it's pretty good. Oh, you, you love it? Oh, yeah. I haven't watched. Oh, thanks. Very you good. need to watch it, yeah. I it's a traditional it. warrior movie, guys. Really good. Yeah. yeah. I should go and catch one day. Yeah. My wife. 
Yes, you can check it. But thank you so much, guys, for your recommendations. And you know, if you guys want to check out what Zarfi and Zul have, you can you know always download Netflix and also see what you know what are the other cool shows. Okay, guys, we're gonna wrap this up in a bit. But before we go, I just want to ask you all: Do you have a message for all the fans who are watching SPL Social? You know, who, and who come on for your games as well? We'll start with you first. Yeah, um, I mean, uh, thank you to all who has been tuning live on uh, this show, and it's it's honestly it's honestly it's been a good. Um, a good ride from where we are now uh, to where we are now and yeah i mean and the fans from tanjung Paga just keep on coming down to our games and yeah it's been a really a, a blessing for you all to come down to see each and every one of you at, at our game so yeah we will do our best to make you guys happy yeah and what about you here? say you know thank you guys for watching this episode you know and for the sailors the crew sg is it? Is it good? Yeah. Thank you guys for coming down to support us as always. You know, I mean the Albrecht game between us, that was a full crowd. You know? Yeah, I, I didn't manage to play that game through injury, but to see you guys came down and support us till the final whistle, you know, we really appreciate. And you guys were really passionate about it, so keep coming down and support us. Fantastic! Thank you so much, Zarfan as well as Lukarinen for joining us today. You know, on the SPL Social. You know, and also thanks to our friends at Dutch Colony. Remember, of course, the SPL Social is you know brought to you by Tampines West CSC, the Football Association of Singapore, Singapore Premier League, and me, Footballita. And I'm super happy. Of course, it's a huge pleasure to be your host every week. So thank you guys, and of course, do continue to watch SPL. And I'll see you guys next time.